Hey what's up guys, Techie Josh here and in today's video we will be comparing the ZTE Citrine LTE versus the Motorola Moto E Sega Gen. Let's get to it. Now before I start I'd like to mention that you guys really shouldn't expect any videos like I've been producing um, all this week because well it looks like this video and another video that's probably going to happen tomorrow it's probably going to be my only two videos for this week unless you guys, well, you know, comment what you guys want to see compared, if that somehow makes sense. But yeah, let's get to the video. Both of these are powered on like normal, or like usual. Smart goes out of the way. So you can see here, let's go ahead and unlock it. It's my password, which I don't really care showing, not like any of you guys are going to get into my phone. Alright, let's go ahead and, and yes, I still do have a cold. So let's go ahead and power them off. For the record, I did did it I did press it at the same time. So it looked like the moto shut off. Shut off before the citrine. Now that they are both off, let's go ahead and do a boot up test. In three. If I can feel for the power button on the moto. Three, two. Well, I can't do it like that, apparently. My left hand's pretty um, weak at doing stuff like that, apparently. In three, two, one. Now, both of these actually have pretty bright screens, but the screen appears to be brighter on the Moto, as you can see here. While these are booting up, the Citrine has a 4-inch screen, whereas the Moto E Sega Gen has a 4.5-inch screen. Just like 0.5 inches bigger. Then the Citrine, Moto E on Virgin Mobile, Citrine on Track Phone. And I have been using this quite a bit. You can barely see my hand because the, uh, the screens are so bright apparently. I've been using this one quite a bit, but I stopped because, well, I just needed to use a different one. So as you can see here, it looks like the Citrine is, you know, booted up first. And that's a problem. Maybe I shouldn't have did this. Uh, boot down test or boot up test I'm sorry now as you can see over here on the moto it won't do something like that by the way this is not activated and honestly I'm actually glad that I haven't activated this because because I'm currently using the rebel LTE I don't have it right here with me but it's currently active and I actually enjoy using it over the citrine that's saying something you can see the buttons down here do light up in a blue color. And as you see over here, the Moto is all booted up and ready to be used. Whereas the Citrine here will take up to like 5 minutes. So, it looks like I'll go ahead and pause here. And I'll come back once this screen has gone away. Okay, so yeah, that took way too long. And at this very moment, my nose is uh, giving me problems. So you might you might hear a lot of sniffing from me, so I can't really help it. I have a cold. As you can see, I have a third party launcher. But I always use the stock launcher because the one that I the third party launcher that I use isn't really working like it should. Let me go ahead and turn Moto E on here. Alright, so let's go ahead and start with YouTube. Right? Now, it seemed to open much faster on the ZTE, and it loaded much faster on the ZTE. I got a notification on my iPhone in the background. So as you can see, the ZTE won that one. Which, in my opinion, I would expect the ZTE to, be, to have better speed, believe it or not. And pretty soon the uh, sun's going to go down here, so I'm not going to have the best lighting. But all you really need to see is the phone screen, so that's all that matters. So you see I got the same notification. Just mark that out, or just slide that out of the way. Let's go ahead and do Snapchat. Three, two, one. I'm currently on my 5S and on Snapchat, and apparently I got some kind of notification. Anyway, that's not the point of this video. I wasn't really paying attention to this one, so let's go ahead and do that again I apologize for the inconvenience three two one 
ZTE won that one. Next, let's go to kick. ZTE bring it up first. ZTE pull it up first. Now let's go to Play Store. So as you can see, the ZTE is actually dominating over the Moto. And this is a stock speed of the ZTE. I didn't decrease the animation or anything like that. Now let's go to Instagram. 3, 2, 1. Both are running relatively the same version of Android. Lollipop to be exact. Now let's go to Gallery. 3, 2, 1. ZTE. Bring it up first. Now let's go to Twitter. Or I don't have it on the Moto. No, I don't yet on the Moto. <coughs> um, what else? Or what next, I should say? Periscope. Let's go to Periscope in 3, 2, 1. One. So yeah, as you can see, the ZT won that one with the Moto not too far behind. Google Plus in three, two, one. So as you can notice, the ZTE just like you know opens it up much better. Both have capacity. Well, they both have capacitive buttons, but the ones on the Moto is on screen, as you see right here. While the ones on the ZTE are off screen. You see the motor is running Google Now Launcher as the default launcher. Let's go to Messenger in 3, 2, 1. The Moto actually brung the, the sign-in screen first. That's interesting. Let's go to Google Maps. Let me find it on the Citrine. Google Maps and Google Maps in three, two, one. I actually really enjoy how the app opens and how everything is on the ZTE. It's actually quite snappy, but it looks like the Moto E jumped ahead there. Let's go ahead and put it on satellite on the. Oh no, I don't want that. Satellite on the ZTE to make it even. There you go. But yeah, the Moto E actually jumped ahead on that one. Let's go to settings in 3, 2, 1. ZTE on that one. Let's just check the Android version right now about phone. Moto E on that one. ZTE is running 5.1.1, whereas the Moto E is only running 5.1, so very strange there. Apparently, the Moto E second gen isn't going to get anything above that. So. Yeah, there's that. Now let's go ahead and open up Pandora. And this is actually not the, you know, updated Pandora as you can see by the icon. This is actually Pandora 1. This is actually like a... Well, basically, to sum it up, this app, this Pandora app, lets you get Pandora 1 for free. So you have unlimited skips and whatnot, as you can see here. I'm signed in and, yeah, and... Matter of fact, that was actually unfair, so. Let's actually gonna go ahead and do that again, leave that notification. Let's actually do that again because I wasn't paying attention. Now I have to jump right back out of it because they'll start playing the song, which will get me copyright copyrighted in three, two, one. Moto E actually did it first, as you can see there. Well, it didn't play it right away, but as you see there, it popped up with a song. This is Pandora 1, quote-unquote, for free. Yes, I do realize it's the old one, but you do get uh, Pandora 1 for free. Unlimited skips, you know, all the features of, you know... Let's go, actually, let's go ahead and go to settings. Uh, Pandora 1, Pandora 1. Basically, you should know what Pandora 1 is, but this is just the old version of Pandora to get the free version. To get the updated one, you have to pay a certain amount for it. May I think you can, you know, start out for free for like seven days, then you have to pay, which I'm not going to do now that I have this app. And trust me, I have this app on many other phones, not just these two. So now let's go to... 
Let's go to calculator in three, two, one. Exactly the same there, which is surprising. I wasn't expecting that. Let's go to calendar in three, two, one. ZTE won that one. ZTE, you're really a good phone in the end. Let's go to Chrome and load the same Pocket Now website. Oh, no, actually, Phone Arena. What am I saying? Chrome in 3, 2, 1. ZTE brought it up first, but the Moto E is loading Phone Arena. Let's go ahead and do that again. You type it in over here on the ZTE. Okay, and actually, let's go to Google on the Moto because that wasn't fair. Go to Google on this one and then type it in in the address bar. Phone Arena in 3, 2, 1. So it looks like I'm watching the little bar even though you can't see it on camera. It's still loading but in terms of scrolling it seems that they offer the same relatively smooth scrolling as you can see it's not completely loaded yet. Moto E appears to have more lag than the ZTE. Scrolling back to the top really fast. Scrolling to the bottom really fast. ZTE is actually hanging up there whereas the Moto is relatively smooth. As you can see there. Going back home. Now let's go to the icons on the bottom starting with phone. ZTE brung it up first. Let's go ahead and clear that out. Dialer. Moto brung that up first. Messaging in 3, 2, 1. I'd say exactly the same there. Let's go to contacts. Let me find it on the Moto. In 3, 2, 1. Exactly the same. And I do realize that some of you guys might disagree with what I'm saying half the time. Like you would say, no, the Moto E1 bringing up the, you know, web browser, ex for example. Uh, you know, that was a, I did, I slid the ZTE, I pressed on it too hard and slid it. Anyway, let's go back into the app drawer. Now let's go to, what can we go to? As you see, it's left, right on the ZTE and up and down on the Moto. Personally, I like the look and feel of the ZTE, and that's probably saying something. Meaning that most people probably like stock Android over ZTE. Let's go to Google Play Music, even though the ZTE isn't updated. In 3, 2, 1. Yeah, as you see, wait, I didn't even press, excuse me for that one, but the Moto E did do it, but let's go ahead and... I didn't tap it right. Let's go ahead and go back into it. Try it one more time. Google Play Music in 3, 2, 1. Yeah, as you can see, the Moto loaded it first. The ZTE not too far behind. Apparently, I don't have any songs on the ZTE here. Now, let's go to camera. Find it over here in 3, Two, one. I would have to say that was exactly the same. The ZTE defaulted to the front camera. So as you can see, the ZTE is no slouch when it comes to speed. Moto E is still a speedy device, but honestly, the ZTE looks like it has much better speed over the Moto E, which could be a surprise to some people, but to me, I was actually really expecting the ZTE to have like better speed. Now let's go to, for the last app, if I can find one to open, let's go to, huh, I'm trying to find one, it's kind of hard to find one. Now let's go to clock, why not? Clock for the last app in 3, 2, 1. ZTE bring it up first, but honestly I prefer the look on the Moto E, it just looks much more elegant and and simple and clean but yeah in the end 
you can't go wrong with either of the either of these devices. The ZTE has a 4-inch screen, whereas the Moto E has a 4.5-inch screen, as I said in the beginning. And the Moto E has on-screen buttons, whereas the ZTE has off-screen buttons. And they do light up blue on the ZTE. Drop down notification. As you can see, two swatch for the ZTE because of that notification. But in all, they do have their similarities. They do have their differences. And personally, I would like to to use the ZTE in day-to-day -day use because it offers more speed. The app load times are seem to be much faster on the ZTE than the Moto. Even though the Moto runs stock Android, I'd rather use the ZTE over stock Android. And that's saying something to someone out there. Alright guys, as I said in the beginning... Probably don't expect me to, you know, produce a lot of videos this week. There might be videos like a day after today or maybe day after tomorrow. But just don't expect me to post, you know, like every single day this week. But expect a video probably here and there. But anyway, guys, that about does it for this video. And I'll catch you in the next one.